In today's video, I do my first power carving and turn this beautifully grained black walnut cut off into a unique bowl using just an angle grinder and a lot of sanding. Stay tuned. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I've had this black walnut cut off from a custom kitchen island build I did and I've been holding on to it for a while, just been debating about what to do with it. It did have a bark inclusion on one side of it that was going to be a little bit of a workaround. I decided to take a gamble on grinding it down and making it into a bowl. For the bowl, I was going for an organic, unique shape. I saw a design I liked on Pinterest. I didn't really want it as extreme as this and liked the general shape of that. So I just kind of laid out a rough shape of the, on the piece of wood. I trimmed it down to its rough size on the crosscut sled. And then I needed to get a flat level surface on the bottom of it. Because as the piece of wood was now, it did not sit level. So using my planer sled, some shims, and some hot glue, I was able to plane the bottom side of it and give it a nice level surface where bowl would sit. Now as you can see here, I didn't plane it down all the way because the bowl was gonna taper up on the sides, so I really didn't need to go that deep. Uh, I just used a square and marked out the middle section that I want, where I wanted to keep it flat. And then on the outside of those lines is where I could start tapering it up to give it that bowl shape. Now to get the taper started, I beveled my table saw and ran all rough corners on all four sides through the blade. This would save me some time during the carving process which was next. A lot of carving. So I got these carving wheels from my angle grinder on Amazon. I'll link them in the description along with everything else I used in this video. Uh, I got an aggressive one and then more of a finer finished disc. And as it turns out, I just used this finer finished disc, which resulted in taking a lot longer, but the aggressive one was just far too aggressive. And it just kept kicking back on me when I was using it. So I set that one aside and didn't use it. I'm thinking uh, slow and steady might win the race here because this thing's a little aggressive. I started out getting the inside of the bowl carved out, but first before I really got started carving, I used a drill bit and drilled down through the middle of the bowl at the deepest depth I wanted to go, which was going to be one and a half inches. This was only a two inch thick piece of wood and it was going to be just a shallow decorative bowl. So the hole I drilled would give me a reference on how deep to carve and not to go too deep. So I put on the carving wheel and got to carving. I started in the middle where I drilled the hole and then I wanted to get it down to the depth needed and then start working out to the outsides of the bowl. And as I kept getting deeper, that bark inclusion slowly shrunk down to solid wood and the grain below where that was turned out to be gorgeous. Another thing to mention is when you're doing this power carving with the angle grinder, it makes an absolutely huge mess. Destroys the shop, dust gets everywhere. So definitely take that into consideration. If it was nicer out, I definitely would have opted to do this outside, but it's completely freezing where I live right now. So I just had to deal with it and clean up the mess after. Now this finer carving disc worked great, but it just took a while. And then as I mentioned, that other one was way too aggressive. So I think I'm gonna be buying another one to supplement with this one that's just a tad more aggressive. I need something in between that aggressive one and that fine finish one. Cause it was a lot of fun to make this bowl and I'll definitely be doing it in the future. So if you're liking what you see during this video, definitely be sure to drop a thumbs up, comment if you wanna see more power carving and subscribe to see more cause it definitely helps out the channel. Now, as I got more into the carving, I was struggling with clamping down the bowl. So what I did was got a little crafty and took some painter's tape some CA glue and some accelerator. And I put the painter's tape right on my workbench and then some more painter's tape on the actual bowl and then use CA glue and activator on the tape to basically fasten it to my table for a temporary while I was sanding this. And it worked great. CA glue is such a versatile tool to have in the shop. I use it all the time for stuff like this and it's just super helpful to have. So I shaped the outside the same way I did on the inside. And I also used my spindle sander to shape the ends to give it that unique curve where the corners slightly flared out. Then once the shape was pretty much good, I did a ton of sanding. 
I'll keep this short because if there's anything worse than sanding, it's watching someone sand on a video. But quickly what I did was sand at 80 grit to 120 grit to 220 grit, and then finally hand sanding at 320 grit. I also sprayed down the bowl with water to raise the grain between each grip. I don't know if that's necessary though. I usually do it just before the final sanding and I didn't see any reason to do it between each grip. Before your final grip though, I think it's definitely a must. I then used my laser engraver to put my logo on the bottom of the bowl. I've really been loving this thing. I did a full video on it if you're interested in watching more on it. But it's been a great tool to have and has already paid for itself in just one month of having it. I've also lately been messing around with different logo designs, which this laser engraver has allowed me to do. Because if I were to buy a branding iron, I'm pretty much stuck with that logo and that branding iron. So this laser engraver is much more versatile and can be used for a number of different things to add more income to your shop. Anyway, I do like the simplicity of this logo that I put on the bottom of this bowl. Now the moment I was waiting for is to get some oil on this thing and watch the grain pop. And let me tell you, it did not disappoint. After a couple coats of pure mineral oil, I always finish my cutting boards with this wood wax. Uh, it's made by Walrus Oil. It's not sponsored or anything, but I just feel it adds an extra layer of protection and adds a nice sheen. And you simply buff it in and then let it sit for a little while and wipe it off. I've been debating about what to do with this bowl, so I googled black walnut bowl and was actually quite shocked to see some of the prices of them. So I think I'm going to list it on my website at a pretty high price, like some of these, and see what happens. I honestly could care less if it sells. I will be more than happy to keep it for myself. But definitely just will be interesting to see, have it listed that high, and see if there's a high-end market for it. I'll have a link in the description on my website for it. Anyway, I like how this turned out. I love the unique shape of it. I think it would make like a gorgeous centerpiece or something to put on a console table. Definitely a nice showpiece and was a lot of fun to do. So if you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, a comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff. And let me know if you'd like to see more power carving. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.